Hey folks, welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we have got a great show for you today. We're gonna check out lots of great local restaurants, including Freshy, which is on the west side of Madison, and Rosie's on Monona Drive. Lots of great places. It's your guide to the best restaurants in town, so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to go coming up on The Restaurant Show. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services. Hey folks, welcome back to The Restaurant Show. I am so excited to be joined now by the folks from hy V Market Grill. We have Teresa Wilson and of course, Chef Joel. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So good to have you guys back here. So uh, Joel, tell us exactly what you're gonna be making for us today. All right, today we're gonna do a uh, four cheese ravioli. And what we're gonna do is start off with a little bit of olive oil in a hot pan. Okay. And to that pan, we're gonna add a little bit of freshly chopped garlic. Freshly chopped garlic. How do you get it to? How do you get it so evenly chopped? I can't just find them like that. Run our knife through it as many times as it takes. <laughs> okay. and then it starts sizzling. Yeah, we're gonna let it sizzle for a second or two and get that aroma going. Oh yeah. And I absolutely. always like to start off with a little bit of salt and pepper. We like to uh, layer the flavors. Yeah. So, salt and pepper, I found, is just it's such a simple thing that we kind of take for granted, but it's just a really, I mean, really great seasoning, obviously. Right. So now we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream. All right. Nice. And, it starts and then we have a little bit of Alfredo sauce. We don't want Ooh. too much, but just a little bit. Okay. So basically what the sauce is is a uh, vodka tomato sauce, which the vodka is already in the tomato sauce. Oh, okay. You didn't bring the so, bottle with you this time no. around? Okay. Well, maybe <laughs> next time. So do you make that tomato sauce then? We do. We make everything in-house. All right. Fresh from scratch. Wow. So you stew the tomatoes and all that good stuff? Yeah. That is awesome. Okay, so help. we're going to stir this around a little bit. And then our four cheese ravioli, we're going to plop right in there and yeah. let this kind of heat up a little bit. Yeah, I got to have the flip. Got to have the flip there. <laughs> <laughs> and that color, I just love how the colors all kind of come together. That's yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's beautiful. So, Teresa, this is your first time with us here in the restaurant show. Welcome, yes, first of all. Um, I wanted to uh, just kind of talk to you about a couple of things that you have going on. Um, first of all, talk to us about what we've got here. What is this? We have our uh, buckets of beer. Okay. You can get five beers for $10 in a bucket. Sure. We put, serve it to you on ice so uh -huh. you can enjoy it. And... Okay. Okay. And this is for game day? Is that kind of the, the... Any day of the week. Actually. Any day of the week. Yep. Okay. Wow. Yep. Oh, cool. And um, you guys have some daily specials, as I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday through Sunday, at the very least, you've got some different specials. Can you talk to us a little, about, a little bit about what those are? Sure. On Tuesday nights, we have kids eat free with any adult entree, so bring okay. the kids in. Bring the kids on Tuesday. Wednesday, half-price sushi and bottles of wine. Half-price sushi and half-price bottles of wine. Yep. Wow. Sushi yep. and bottles of wine. That's great. Yep. Great combination. And then Thursday. We have some, uh, we have a sirloin. Eight ounce sirloin, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. For ten dollars. And this is this is all grilled to order. And that's the thing that people often don't think about if they've never been to Hy-Vee is that this is an actual full service restaurant right there in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So they'll cook that steak to, to order right there for you. And yep. then Friday. And then Friday we have our fish fry. We have walleye and cod. All right. So very nice. And you could get that fried or baked. So. Baked or fried, very good. And then Saturday. And then Saturday we have our prime rib special. Yes. And then Sunday, drum roll please, this is my favorite part, we have the... Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch buffet. Folks, if you have not tried the Sunday brunch buffet, you are missing out. They've got so much there. They've got, I think you've got a... Um, it's not rib roast, but you've got some sort of prime, prime rib. rib. You got prime rib there. Um, there's smoked salmon, mm -hmm. uh, anything from the Chinese bar, anything um, from the salad bar, I believe. It's all, and even a lot of the desserts are there for you and you can get as much as you want. Oh, yes. So, so this is the finished product. This is the four cheese, three cheese? Four cheese Four ravioli, cheese, yeah. four cheese ravioli, okay. And we just garnished it with a little bit of fresh parsley and Parmesan cheese. Awesome, so. awesome. And, um, you know, I said I was going to bring a fork with me so that I could try some of this stuff out, <laughs> but I, I didn't bring that with me, So, I, but I would like to try that afterwards for sure. This is one of my favorite. That, that I mean, it looks delicious, and the fact that it's got, uh, the vodka sauce, no joke, is a really, really good sauce. Mm -hmm. I mean, anytime, anytime you have that, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, you guys do ordering online. 
We do. Talk to me a little bit about that. So you can go online and order, or you can call or order in, uh -huh. and then we will have it ready. You just come and pick it up. So it's like curbside pickup mm -hmm. then. So you can call ahead or, or call ahead or order online, and then they'll, they'll have the food ready for you. And the entire menu is available at highvmarketgrill.com. And you guys have sushi, pastas, buffet, seafood, steaks, uh, chicken, and salads. You've got such a wide variety. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So now, how, Joel, tell me how long you've been doing this. How long have you been working I've at Hy-Vee? been with Hy-Vee for about a year and a half now. Okay. So. And do you get uh, quite a bit of flexibility as far as um, kind of coming up with some of the ideas there? Or? Uh, a lot of the stuff um, I do get to come up with. Uh, corporate does uh, do some of the stuff as well. So, sure. you know, it's kind of a combination of both of us coming together and making sure we have a lot of great food to offer the public. So if we were to go to a different market grill that's um, not the one in Fitchburg, because you're mm -hmm. out of the one in Fitchburg, right. if we were to go to a different market grill, we'd find a lot of the same menu items, but maybe some different things too. Uh, perhaps. Uh, we are doing different specials, so you might find something different on a Friday night in Iowa than you would up here. I don't sure. know if they have fish fry in Iowa or not. Sure, sure. And speaking so. of Iowa, um, the first Hy-Vee Market Grill, hy is a, a grocery store that's been around for a long time, and um, the first Market Grill, the restaurant component, was established in Urbandale, Iowa in 2012. So not that long ago. And now there's over 70 different Market Grill locations. So right. this is a kind of a phenomenon where um, getting food made to order at, um, at, you know, at the same place where you buy food to cook yourself is, uh, is amazing. And that's uh, sometimes um, when I was first introduced to Hy-Vee when we were living in southwestern Wisconsin and we went to Dubuque, Iowa, and they didn't have as expansive as a, a market grill as you guys do, but that's where we got, we went to eat there all the time. And mm -hmm. so when I found that you guys were moving to Madison, I got really, really excited. So that's awesome. That's awesome. So um, you had a, a new menu. We just have a couple seconds left, but you had a new menu at the end of October. You kind of changed your menu at the end of October. How's that been going? It's been going really well. We've gotten a lot of great uh, compliments on it and you know we look forward to hearing more and more compliments in the future yeah so. yeah so head over to Hy-Vee Market Grill in Fitchburg and check out the new menu that was recently updated at the end of October Teresa Wilson and Chef Joel thank you so much for joining us today thank you for having us don't go away there's more restaurant show coming up right after this when we return Freshy is going to talk about their juice cleanse that's after the break Hey folks, welcome back to the restaurant show. I think it might be perfect timing as we have overindulged this holiday season and are going into another week or so of doing the same to talk to our friend from Freshy. This is Jack McGee and the local owner of Freshy. We're so glad to see you once again. Thanks, Jessica. Glad to be back. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. So, you know, I'm a huge fan. I say that every time you come, but I mean it. Uh, I really, I really love Freshy and what you're doing over there. Appreciate it. One thing I, I don't know that we've talked about, at least on camera, is sort of the why behind. We're going to jump into some things, talk about juices, talk about chili. Um, but let's talk about why you chose to open Freshy. Yep. I'd uh, grown up working in restaurants through high school and college and just, you know, love food, love cooking food and everything. Uh, but as I got a little older and was out there in the world working and everything, I noticed that there weren't a lot of good options out there. It always seemed like this trade-off mm -hmm. of speed versus, um, you know, how much it's going to cost and how good I felt afterwards. Yes. Uh, if you travel around the country right now, you'll see a lot of places, a lot of these salad places, juice bars, things like that have popped up. I used to travel a lot more for business and I kept on saying, why doesn't somebody bring something like this to Madison? It makes a lot of sense intuitively, food that's both tastes good and it's good for you. Yeah. Um, I'd seen a freshie in Chicago about five years ago, was very impressed with the business model, started doing some research into it. And uh, when I finally got to that point where I reached out to them and went through the process, I uh, was very excited about partnering with Freshy. They're growing like wildfire right now. Gosh, aren't they? They yes. opened uh, seven Target tar uh, Freshy cafes and Targets in Illinois and a couple up in Minnesota and then Mall of America and just growing everywhere. And so for me, what I wanted to do was really bring this healthy eating concept to Madison where people yeah. could, that were you know, busy professionals where you could come in, get something that's going to fuel you up and not have any of those consequences afterwards where you feel like taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon. Yes, I know. We talk about that, but the, the struggle is real when you have mm -hmm. a burger at lunch and fries. Yep. But um, I think to your point, I like what you say about you know not compromising speed for health. I think that kind of is how we feel when we go out mm -hmm. to lunch. It's like, oh gosh, well I only have a half an hour. I have to go to you know fill in the blank fast food place. Well, this is 
truly a way to get your food fast, Absolutely. but to really eat healthy. And it's all really delicious food. It's hard for people to know that without trying mm -hmm. when you talk about something that's really healthy yeah. and good for your body, but it's everything I've had is absolutely amazing. Like I crave it, I want it. So yeah. um, thank you for bringing it yeah. here. So if you're out there in TV land watching this, if you're just looking for something unique to try it, I hope you'll give it a visit. Uh, if you personally are fighting through some health struggles and maybe looking for a place that can help you get over that hurdle, I'd love to talk with you and work with you there. You can go to our website, it's freshy.com, or give us a call on our phone numbers, 821-0209. We're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's great. So yeah, you can even come pick up dinner or bring it home. Yeah, sorry, or... 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday. 7 to 8, 8 to 8, Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so um, good to know. Now let's get into the juices. I think the mm -hmm. juices, the freshy juices, I think this is a, a great thing for people, you know, in general throughout the year, but mm -hmm. this is kind of the time of year as we get into the new year and everything yeah. that you start thinking more about your health, maybe it's a, it is time to make a change. So as people are in that mindset, what do juices have to offer? Sure, so for an example here, I brought uh, carrot zinger. So that's got carrots, apple, and ginger. This is the cold and flu season. Yeah. Ginger is a great way to boost your immune system. It's actually really good for your insides, for settling thing. Oh, okay. You've probably heard about carrots and apples and the vitamins and minerals in those growing yes. up. Uh, but getting that liquid form just really allows your body to absorb it quickly and kind of get right. that instant reaction to it. Gotcha. Um, next one over, we've got our uh, green energy. Uh, if yes. you're one of those people that uh, needs a couple coffees or those sugar drinks to get you started in the day, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to try one of these, honestly, you'll get a longer lasting energy because it's giving you all these vitamins and minerals. That's mm -hmm. actually what your body's craving. Right. The caffeine is just a shortcut to get you there. Yeah, and it's that spike and then that low, right? And this is more, afterwards. like you said, the lasting energy. And I mm -hmm. promise you, I've had this one. So you see this dark green <laughs> juice and you're thinking like, I don't know if I want to drink uh -huh. that. It's uh -huh. super delicious, right. promise. Don't so. be scared by the color on it, as yeah. Jessica was saying. It's very, uh, it's really very good. healthy You'll tasting. You'll love it. Last one over is the Mighty Detox. So a great way if you like to work out a lot, you just, you know, getting over cold, getting that junk, helps flush you out. We got cucumbers and celery in okay. there, apples again, pineapple. It's actually our most popular drink, and it's is a, it? a nice fruity taste to it, nice crisp and clean. And uh, drinking one of those a day will probably just help get out a lot of your toxins. Gotcha. The program that we have is called a Juice Cleanse. Yes. Okay. So if you're looking for a way to really uh, improve your physical and mm -hmm. inner feeling, uh, a juice cleanse, you can either do a one, three, or five day. We give you four juices and a salad per day. You just let us know what time you want to pick it up. And for a lot of people, it's just so much more convenient than trying yes. to make all those salads and juices in the morning. And I have to tell you, I totally day. agree because I've done the, the you know cleanse diets before, and I'm, I think they're great. I think doing cleansing diets are great every once in a while just to kind of reset, and it kind of mm -hmm. resets your taste buds a little bit Absolutely. too and gets you kind of craving the right things. Mm -hmm. But the, re the hurdle is how long it takes and how expensive it is. I mean, by the time you get everything and do it yourself and juice it and make the salads, it's like, I need to spend a whole weekend doing this. And this is just a great way you can order it, pick it up one, three or five days. So um, I love that idea. Gosh, we run out of time so fast, but we have a couple minutes. So yep. I wanna make sure that we talk about your chili and we're, mm -hmm. we'll get to the um, smoothies too, cause you've got those, but let's get yep. to the chili. Cause talk about a great thing for the, the cold weather. Yeah, so we, we had it last year as well. And I was really happy that they brought it back with some improved menu options. So it's a vegetarian chili. Uh, it is vegan. Um, this one is uh, an option that we have, our turkey chili. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, turkey, mushroom, cilantro, and a little sriracha sauce on there oh, for an okay. extra kick if you yeah. like sriracha. sriracha. I got a shout out for my buddy John. First time he tried it, his eyes got about this big. <laughs> Jack, that's a really good chili. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little biased, obviously, but I've had, I haven't had a single customer tell me they didn't like this chili. Oh, well, I Great don't. Taste to it. Yeah, I, you know, I might be biased as well because I just have fallen in love with your menu. But um, yeah, I, if you guys are doing chili, I know it's going to be good because everything you have is really outstanding. Yep. So other options that we have with it, we actually have a chili salad. So if you've okay. ever been in Southwest areas, a little hot and cold mix. Nice love flavor that. of that one. And then we have a vegan chili, which I'm mm. a big fan as well. It has avocado, broccoli over a bed of rice. Okay. And I honestly feel like I've been missing out in life that I haven't tried avocados in a chili before. It's an amazing oh God, blend of how everything comes together. I can see how there. that would work. Uh -huh, yeah, okay, uh -huh. this might be my next thing And then I if order. you're just looking for a little sidecar, mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a special combo. So if you get a bowl or a burrito or whatever, you can get a little side chili for $2.50. Oh, nice. And, wow, that's um, a great price. Compared to the other fast food places that we know of with their little chilies, I will take the challenge with them any day of the week. Honestly, the flavor oh. of this is just amazing. Yeah, I, I believe it hands down. And they also have awesome smoothies.
these mm -hmm. too, so make sure you, so if, if you're a, a little something fan. to cool you down at the end, I call this, uh, this is the powerhouse smoothie, a pina mm -hmm. colada without the booze in it. There you go. I always, what I do is I order my lunch and then I bring a smoothie to go as like my dessert mm -hmm. and it's really delicious. So, okay, enough about that. Thank you so much, Jack, for yeah. joining us today on The Restaurant Show. We're gonna be right back after the break. This is Freshy, we'll see you soon. After the break, Kaz from Rosie's is actually gonna teach us how to make a Yule log. That's next. Hey folks, welcome back to The Restaurant Show. We are joined now by one of my favorite places, Rosie's Coffee Bar and Bakery. This is Kaz, you may recognize her. She's our cake and cookie and dessert lady, the expert over here. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. We're so excited to have you. Perfect timing, we're gonna cover some holiday items and show you how these are put together and maybe how you can even make them at home. Uh, I'm probably gonna go by Rosie's and pick up some, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll walk you through the process. So. First of all, what Bush de Noel is the, the technical term for Yule log, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to be making today, right? Yes. Okay, so what's the origin of this dessert? Where did so this, this come from? They, um, back in the day, they used to, in Europe, they used to go to church at midnight, and they didn't have a lot of you know, heaters like we have here, and so they'd have this special Yule log that they would put out into the fireplace, and they would celebrate after they had this midnight church, and they would drink, you know, special drinks and have special food, and then a baker designed a Yule log to look like this traditional Yule log that they used to do back in Europe, and it's a tradition that's just carried over around the world now. A delicious tradition, mm -hmm. I might add. Yes. So we're excited. I didn't know the backstory. Thanks yes. for bringing that to us. It's not just the restaurant show, it's history. This is <laughs> learning, right? Yes. Uh, so that's wonderful. Now, is this usually done just exclusively at Christmas, or what's your feeling on that? Mostly I've seen it done at Christmas time, although one time I did a spring one and had little spring fairies and stuff, and it was really okay. cute. But um, usually it's a Christmas tradition. Okay. But it's all in the decor, right? You mm -hmm. can you can utilize it throughout the yeah. year. Okay, well, um, kind of talk us through, is it time consuming to do this for starters? Yeah, so okay. I did some, step, some steps ahead okay. for time's sake. So the first thing I did was I made my um, my sponge, and this is also naturally gluten free. There's no oh, flour nice. in this. Oh, nice, okay. And there's no butter either. It's just like an egg white and egg yolk and the sugar, you know, and you kind of fold it all together and you get this sponge. So what you do is the minute it comes out of like a jelly roll pan, you flip it out and you flip it onto your paper and then roll it up immediately. Okay. And you let it um, let it cool in this rolled okay. position. Oh, neat! So it comes out flat, mm -hmm. and then you take a piece of paper and you roll it up. Yep. And now okay. we're going to fill it. And this oh. is you can fill it with you know any sort of filling that you'd like. This is our um, our Italian meringue buttercream. Okay. And Sounds you can, good. You can flavor this up. Um, Last year I did one for, um, it was a baby reveal, and they didn't know what they were having, but I put some raspberry in the middle because oh. their doctor called and told me, so they had a reveal you along. I thought I that was really cool. I love that. That's such a cute idea. Yeah. A little different from the traditional cake reveal. Mm -hmm. That's so fun. Now you said this is, a, what, what is it called, a wet meringue? Um, it says Italian meringue okay. buttercream, so it's a European style frosting because okay. we're keeping it pretty European for this. Sounds and good. Um, you need a candy thermometer to, to make it. It's sort of like less sweet and more whipped creamy than the traditional like American okay. frosting, which is more butter, powdered sugar. And pardon my question if it's a little um, basic, but what's meringue? Is that? Oh, it's um, like egg white. Okay. And so basically you whip up egg whites and then you have your sugar and water going over um, a stove and you get it to what's called softball. And you have your candy thermometer and okay. then you um, add it into the egg whites and it whips for minutes and minutes and minutes until everything cools down. That cooks your eggs by doing that. Got it. And okay. then you add the butter. And the butter has to be just the right temperature. So it is a little bit touchy. Now that I right. know how to do it, it's pretty easy to do, but right. it was frustrating to learn it. That first. sounds like, yeah, it sounds like a lot of stops and for a, a baker who loves doing things like that, it's probably fun once you get it down. Oh yeah, it's um, easy now. Yeah, so I'll be picking mine yeah. up. <laughs> no, it's just easy. Uh, so now, to that same point, are you actually going to be making these and selling these at Rosie's? We sure are. Okay. We're right now selling them for $38.99, and oh, you can order good. ahead. I think that's a really good value. I think that's great. Okay, so I didn't mean to interrupt, but go ahead and okay. keep going. We're going to roll it up now. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's a cool thing when you're going to like a holiday party rather than bringing like something, I don't know, cookies. You get a lot of cookies. How neat would it be to bring a Yule log? And now mm -hmm. you know the backstory. So you have, you have your conversation piece yep. as you go in. And 
sometimes when you roll them up, they yeah. might crack. Okay. And um, it's it's okay if it cracks because okay. you're gonna um, frost it, and then the frosting you know covers oh, your sure. imperfections. So now we're gonna cut it into the log. Okay. So we're just gonna kind of cut it at an angle here. Oh, you do an angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna do an angle here just to okay. give it like a little cut. I suppose logs aren't perfect, so you yeah. want them a little bit different. A little bit imperfect, just, right? Yeah, and I'm just going to put a little frosting right here on the board just okay. for it to stick. And then we're going to put it on here. Oh, that's a good idea. And then we're going to do the branch, so we're going to cut again. Is that a baker's tip, putting that frosting down? Yeah. It kind of helps so things stay in place as around. you're transporting yeah. it? Exactly. And then, you know, usually you put this in the refrigerator to just kind of set up, and then that's going to um, have it... Um, really set up good. Oh, that's so and now cool. this is a ganache, so it's equal parts by weight of um, cream and chocolate. Okay, and who doesn't like saying ganache, by the way? Yeah. I mean, that's a great word. Doesn't it sound like a European <laughs> word? It does, yes. Yeah, for our Bush Noel. Perfect on track for our European dish, okay. Yes, and so we're going to... Can, are you impressed at home, by the way, at how fast she's doing this? This is somebody who is an experienced baker at work over here. Yeah, so, I, yeah, you get um. Your speed is impressing me. Well, I would have dropped six things on the floor by now too if this were me. Well, you know, it's it's been a lot of practice. Um, some of the first cakes that I did, oh my gosh, they're so bad. Ah! Um, I would have never in a million years ever dreamed that any anyone would have me hired as a professional baker, much less own my own bakery. But you know what? What's that saying? Passion can take you very far. It certainly can. I just enjoyed doing it, and I just kept practicing. And, and yeah, I, for me, it's really easy now. Isn't that funny? Well, you do such a great job. I love these guys. They do lunch and breakfast and just really outstanding food, too. I just want to mention Christmas cookies quick, because we're talking Yule Dog, but you do, they do everything. They do Christmas cookies. You guys do a lot of these, actually, don't you? <sighs> yeah. Yep, I've been in there some mornings till three in the morning with my helper Ashley and we um, are just making cookies. We hand roll all of our cookies out, the decorated ones, and we're oh. decorating them and we make the doughs from scratch, the glazes from scratch. They're yes. all hand decorated. Um, people are getting them for like corporate gifts and oh. just for your, you know, for your holidays. Right. And, they're just beautiful, and everything is done. This is a scratch bakery. These guys are really impressive over there. I have used them now many times and always just been delightful with the look, and the taste is always Thank you. fabulous. So the I'm best of both worlds. On top. And if you are a big coffee lover, these guys have outstanding coffee. We don't have time to cover that today, but I wanted to mention that before we go. So head over to Rosie's on Monona Drive. You'll see Miss Cause and her fantastic team. And join us for more restaurant show right after the break. Stick around. Thank you so much for joining us for the restaurant show today. I had so much fun checking out all these great local places. I'm Jessa Jeremiah, reminding you that life is too short to eat average. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services.